Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here. Remember the Google CR48? No? Let me fill you in. Basically the CR48 was the first ever Chromebook and it was a sort of a test pilot for Google's Chrome OS. Now you probably already know what Google Chrome is. In fact, if you're like me, you're probably watching this video in Chrome right now. But Chrome OS is a little bit different because it's the only thing that you turn on when you turn on the computer. So Google Chrome is the entire operating system. It's, it's just the browser. So there's no Windows, no Mac OS X, no Linux. You just turn on the computer and boom, Google Chrome turns on. That's it. Now I think, and you can give a thumbs up on this video if you agree, I think Chrome OS is a little bit ahead of its time. It's a little bit too far into the future and it's trying to make its way here in the present and that's why it's not being so successful right now. Hear me out, maybe you'll agree. Basically everything that's awesome already about Google Chrome as a browser just turns into everything that's awesome about the operating system. So the super fast startup times, you can open up the laptop and it'll resume like nearly instantly. It's very secure and it's just really, really fast. Everything just works. You even have device sync so it'll sync with the Chrome on your other devices. So things like that, it just makes it seem like a very complete platform and why not use Chrome? I mean, Chrome is a really good idea for that. So you gotta have apps because you can't just live in the browser forever. Sometimes you need to just get stuff done with applications. Uh, there is a Chrome app store. It's called the Chrome Web Store. So these are turning into things that are way beyond just glorified websites or shortcuts. So basically sometimes you get an app in the Chrome Web Store where you click on the icon, it just takes you to the website for that app where they're actually turning now into real apps, like applications that are running your browser. So you click on it and you'll be get this you know, beautiful interface that looks nothing like the web app and it's really interesting to use. So you can check out the links in the description below for stuff like Chromebooks and the Chrome Web Store and I'll keep telling you why Chrome OS is so awesome. Yeah, I said Chromebooks because Chrome OS is the operating system itself but it's also being kind of unsuccessful right now because Chromebooks aren't selling very well. I bet you didn't know you could buy Chromebooks in like your local Best Buy. Have you even seen one on a shelf? I have, but I look for them. There are Samsung Chromebooks out there, there are Asus Chromebooks out there, and there's the Test Pilot, which was the CR48. And right now there are very low spec machines. And this is why Google Drive flies into the picture and really completes the entire package. It really makes it an ecosystem kind of, almost. See, these Chromebooks don't need to cost very much because they need to be affordable for people who need a simple computer like that. And they also only have to run Google Chrome. So they make them, you know, have an Intel mobile processor, maybe an Atom processor, maybe one gigabyte of RAM, a dedicated video card won't be happening in the Chromebooks. And you really just have a low spec and you'll have maybe eight, maybe 16 gigabytes of internal storage on these Chromebooks. It seems like enough when you're only using Google Chrome, but then you realize you wanna make it like an actual computer, so you're gonna need, you know, store your photos, store your documents, and view, you know, listen to your music and all that kind of stuff, and you're gonna need more than eight gigs. Google Drive comes into the picture, and suddenly you have 25 gigs of external storage that's just on Google's cloud servers. You don't have to worry about it. It's really, really cheap, and if you need more than that, you can pay for more. It's a genius system, and it's very inexpensive, and it's just a great ecosystem with the Chromebooks. So overall, you're getting Chrome, Chrome OS, and tab sync across multiple platforms. You get the Chrome web store, you get the Chrome apps, you get all these different things that are just kind of revolving around each other and making a great package in a Chromebook and it's just not selling well at all. And that's why I think it's ahead of its time. People aren't really ready to move fully to the cloud for their laptop computer. Personally, I think an awesome machine would be this. Something with sort of a MacBook Air form factor, running Chrome OS, okay, having a massive battery, and just having maybe eight gigs of internal storage, having a massive amount of stuff in Google Drive, and large battery, uh, ultra low voltage processor, and have it say Google on the back, I don't know. I mean, it would be pretty sick Chromebook, make it maybe matte black or something like that. Uh, and I would definitely like that as a secondary machine. Now, obviously you can't replace your full desktop because you know, video editing apps and photo editing, Photoshop and things like that can't really be replaced in the cloud completely yet. I mean, they're getting there, but right now I think Chromebooks are a definitely awesome option for a secondary machine and uh, that's what I'm using mine for right now. Either way, I just gotta thank Lamar Wilson from Wilson Tech One because this video would not be possible without him and also all of you guys who have recently subscribed uh, who have found my channel, thank you, welcome aboard and I hope you're enjoying these videos. Either way, thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, just hit the microphone. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.